One in six young Americans still out of work, and it looks like they may be out of luck this summer, too. The U.S. government sponsoring around 100,000 foreign students to come to America for summer jobs. And Uncle Sam is even adding extra job protections for them. Toby, should we be looking after our own kids first during these tough times? That's a rhetorical question, right? Well, no, we should. But let's, I mean, what are we, back in the 90s here? I mean, th this is the Reagan's thing where the only way to more immortality in the world is to be a government program. This may have made sense in 95 when we had such a low unemployment rate with, with kids, but that ain't today. Now, why would we continue this? like boneheads that we are is because we give all these you know benefits to the employers to do that I, I have an idea why don't we give those benefits to our kids uh, steve you say bring them on in huh uh, absolutely. One of the stupidest economic policies we have in this country is bringing students over here to go to our colleges. They graduate from college, and then we send them back to the, their own country. Yeah, but Steve, this even is not, this is, not this. this is temporary work being lifeguards, for crying out loud. These aren't astrophysicists. No, I didn't see any pictures of any lifeguards. I saw folks working at computers, and I'd rather have them oh, being computer programmers here than computer programmers in India and send the jobs overseas. There's okay, computer wait a programmers okay. program. Gary B. A lot of our of our students, of our teenagers, could be computer programmers as well. Yeah, I, oh, absolutely. But in, in this case, I think Steve is wrong. They're he not computer wrong. programmers. What what happens is the employers that participated in this program. This is a whole uh, tax break, political yeah. agenda kind of thing where they don't have to pay Social Security. They get a tax break and they pay the kids seven twenty five an hour. Try to find a computer program programmer for seven twenty five an hour. You can't. If I was an employer, I'd be looking to hire the oh, farm yes. kids. It's cheap labor. But that's you know, as Toby points out, that runs against. They, they wouldn't want to hire the local kids because it's they're too expensive. It costs too much. Yeah. Okay, Jonas, you're the closest one to being a teenager. <laughs> what do you think of this whole deal? Hey, can we just stop this whole First line? Right we're, just, we're just preparing these kids for when they get older, and there's all this competition abroad for labor as well. Uh, you and know, we've got, we got you guys are looking at this like in a bubble, like we, oh, they're taking our jobs from our children. Yeah. Like, don't we have young people that go abroad and work? I'm sure we have a, tra a balance of trade and labor where we have students that go to schools abroad. We also, they all get jobs abroad sometimes. No. I think labor flowing is a good thing. I think you guys are living a day when they're not supposed to have jobs. But you want people who want to work in America, period. If they're yes, skilled, but not without the the kids. Kids. Wait, that hold includes on. the high end, which we should okay. let more people in their skilled workers. This is not and also people, hey, some of these jobs I gotta get Ed in. Don't want yeah, to do. Come on, Ed. I gotta get the other teenager in here. Go Sorry, ahead, Ed. Guy over here. Look, I mean, these these are kids, and part of what we're doing right now is these these are not big labor forces. These are not you know skilled laborers. What we're doing right now, and given the situation we're in with our employment at this moment, trying to help these kids. Out, learn a skill. This is exactly what we need to be doing to help the kids in this country. We can we, we could always bring kids in and some other time, but we need we have a, a real tragedy going on right now with these kids. They can't find jobs. We need to help them develop their skills. And if we're going to be paying any money to anybody right now, it should be our own. Isn't kids. that exactly what the government and says when they slap a tariff you know, on okay. solar panels? Or sorry, right, you guys. Are All kids right, kids are not solar. That's got to be enough. And thanks to Steve for joining us. We appreciate it. Predictions and Toby, you're up. All right. Facebook is a failure, but LinkedIn is not because LinkedIn people actually want to do business. I think it's up another 25% since the last time I, you know. So. Jonas, friend or foe? <laughs> It'll be cheaper later. All right. Okay. Gary B., your prediction. Uh, Brenda, the Olympics are right around the corner, which means one thing, an onslaught of Nike ads. I think the stock really pops on all the exposure, up 10% by the end of the Olympics. Toby, bull or bear? Uh, I'm a bear. It's overexposed at this point. <clears throat> okay, Ed, your prediction. Fusion IO. Most of you have never heard of it, but you will when you hear that it doubles in 365 days. I love the company. I love the industry. And Ga the Gary B., bull or bear on that? I, I'm a bear. I, he's got the two right. Just put a one over it, and that's what I think the <laughs> okay, stock will do. Jonas. <laughs> high food prices, high gas prices, and turn home grilling into a growth industry again. It's good for Kingsford, owned by Clorox, up a lot by next Memorial Day. Oh, I like oh, those barbecues. Toby, Everybody what do you say? Everybody use mesquite, my friend. That oh, out. you foodie. 